Jim again, right here. This is Jim's hot rods. That's it. I'm stuck in a corner behind the uh, Ford Roadster and between the uh, 66 GMC because I, I want to finish both of these but I got some other stuff to do so uh, we're going to get back to this but anyways I finally tracked down some piston rings for the uh, Windsor engine that's going in the Miata so that's what this video is it's going to be a several video set on uh, finishing this here Windsor it's pretty much buttoned up in the last videos it's been a couple of months now I believe since August so here we go this is what I got I got the clutch flywheel everything's brand new for you that don't know this this is a Ford flywheel Ford pressure plate going on a Chevy transmission and a Chevy clutch which is all ten and a half inch it's all the same uh, the spline is just different ones one sixteenth to uh, one eighth whatever that that's all done so I'm just showing you what's on the bench close quarters uh, let's see distributor right there ready to go bolts brand new lifters soaking in uh, sour cream if <laughs> you people that uh, see this that's oil <laughs> there's my pistons TRW high top pistons just a regular these are um, I believe I said in the other video I think these are 10 to 1 or 11 to 1 at least that's what I was told because I got these used so you know where I'm going with this they're actually new it was only ran for like 20 minutes before the uh, engine uh, grenaded you'll notice that I said that in the other videos so the difference with these pistons and normal Ford pistons for this here Windsor engine or any 351 302 289 blah 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 uh, this is a race piston this requires a 1 16th piston ring and the lower oil ring is 3 16th very very tough to get piston rings for them because I did not know uh, this in the beginning so I got these from a, a uh, gentleman on eBay uh, these were a hundred dollars this is my second set of piston rings these ones are brand new and it says right on it Chevy Ford Mercury four inches plus 30 okay uh, plus or minus this is a uh, it's a 1 16th 1 16th and 3 16th ring now these were it looks like these were made January 8th 2019 uh, from Hastings so apparently they're out there uh, I just had a hard time trying to find them so we're gonna get to this this is a Ford engine so uh, I'm gonna start with the number one piston which is on the passenger side front um, and that's that's really all I gotta say this is just a heads up this is where I'm going I'm gonna get these uh, things ringed now I, I I hone this engine out so it's a little tighter than uh, most people would want but because I had a couple of little uh, nicks uh, in one of the pistons I took care of that that's all set so I, I uh, basically have to file my rings about two thousandths on the number one and number two ring which is on the top and the second one down from the top uh, so that's pretty much it I checked the book on the specs on this and it says right around anywhere from uh, 14 to 18 some people argue about that but it the books the old 1974 book that I have specifies anywhere from uh, 14 thousands to 18 thousand so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, file these rings to right around 16 so I'll be plus or minus two thousands if not three thousands and it's perfect it's you're not gonna it's 
absolutely going to be flawless. So, uh, again, this is the Windsor engine for the Miata. It's a high rev engine. Uh, it's a low buck build. If you watch my videos, watch this, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Please subscribe. Tell some others to subscribe. I, I don't really want to tell people to subscri uh, subscribe. Uh, but uh, apparently that's what everybody has to do these days to get uh, somebody to watch your videos. This is going to be an exceptional build, okay? It's almost done. I have everything falling in the line. The transmission, everything is all brand new. It's all done, ready to go. This summer, which is 2020, this is going to run and drive. Uh, hopefully, I can get this engine put together. Uh, let's say by late spring uh, because I have a ton of other things that I'm doing at the same time so again I'm stuck in the corner of the shop see how see how close quarters it is this is my life okay okay if you see something and you want to an answer for you ask a question I will give you an answer please subscribe this is a good this is gonna be a good video set man have a good day